Good morning. It's super early uh, yes. here. Yes. <laughs> Very early. Yeah. First of all, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, yes. We crossed a milestone thanks to you. We're over 1,000 subscribers, which is wonderful, awesome feeling. We never thought we'd even get to 500. No. 100 at one point in time. Uh, <laughs> I you know, remember we're, we were so excited when we hit 100. Yeah, we're like, I don't think we even have we 100 were, friends like, and family friends members. <laughs> to Come on. Badgering our coworkers. So. And we appreciate all the feedback and the mm -hmm. commentary that we're getting. We try very hard to respond to every comment. As you may know, the 2020 October Annapolis Boat Show was unfortunately canceled due to COVID. And, but they still had um, the Balance 526 there. Mm -hmm. And the winds were like 25 knots and really gusty and yeah. a lot of chop on the Chesapeake Bay. Yeah. And the way the Chesapeake Bay works is a very short wave, so it really slows you down. So given the wind speeds, we triple reefed Glory. the main. It looked like a dinky sail, and then we were using this tiny storm Storm jib, jib. late jib. Yeah. Um, but point being, there was not a whole lot of sail area out. You know, I had no idea how the boat would perform yeah. given such little sail area. Yeah. And we were flying along. And yeah. I know when you see this speed, you may not think it's incredibly fast, but it is given how reduced the sail area was. I can't even imagine yeah. Yeah, I if mean, we I had more sail up in those winds. Yeah, it, it did. It, it totally solidified <laughs> the reason for having the Versa Helm. Yeah. Uh, because we had no problems seeing anything. No. Um, in terms of in terms of your your masthead, in terms of your your all around your three sixty. The one thing yeah. that you said though that and I th this I think it's a small trade off is a lot of people like to sail by feel. Oh yeah. Right. So you know if the wind's here, you know whether you got a head up or fall off. You know yeah. you know you have that that sense. It has a great helm feel. You yeah. can actually, it's not a hydraulic. Mm -mm. Um, so you actually can feel when you're turning the boat. But what was so weird for me is to sail by instruments because yeah. I could see the wind on the gauges. Yeah. But I wasn't, I'm so used to feeling it wherever it is yeah. and kind of holding my position based on feel. Yeah. yeah. So I, for, if, for me, coming from an aviation background, <laughs> that's right. it's, it's a little bit different because you are told you trust your instruments. Yeah. Uh, you know, you may feel feel that you're in a climb, but in actuality, you're descending and that's, you know, you got to trust your instruments mm -hmm. and so. And how, this was on Ga Galileo. This was on Galileo. Beautiful yeah. boat. So and thank you to the is, owners for offering yeah. that boat up. And how old is Galileo? Do you uh, remember? remember? Three, four years, maybe tops. Yeah. You would think this boat was brand new. That right. is how good the balance build quality is. Oh, we just yep. got Hello. company. <laughs> this is so cool. Yep. <laughs> 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 there were the differences between the 482 that's 526 right. and we even talked a little bit the 442 because that's the third boat mm -hmm. that balance is putting into production the 482 and the 442 i think are a lot more similar than the 526 call number uh three of the 526 and we'll still do it this way if people on the 526 if people want the winches in the down setup like this we'll still do it this way yeah but on Half of our boats, we put all the winches up top, and all the 482s are on top, and all the 442s are on top. And then this is just steps up, and this is a solid surface up here. Right. Okay. And then the plinth goes away, and then there's line boxes behind there, and each behind each winch, there's a line box. So all right. the lines just tag in there. Um, and then there's a little chart plotter to the left of the winches, uh -huh. so that when you're up top, you have a plotter, you have the three winches, right. and a solid setup. Um, Will it still have the ability to be angled like this? Okay, so no, so we won't. So now there'll be a plotter box up there, right? And then there'll be um, a wind speed depth indicator repeater in, right. in the charter box uh -huh. up top, and then oh. down below, if you want to repeat those things, you can. Right. It'll be your choice. Right. And you can also add a plotter down below if okay. you want. Or what a lot of people do is they just buy an Android tablet. Yeah. And then they just. Yep. Move that information down to the tablet because it's infinitely less expensive yep. than buying a whole other chart model. 482, 442 have the dagger boards that come up 
uh, over the deck, whereas the 526, everything is built in. so many of them with all the different comparisons I honestly didn't have a chance to really get a sense of it all. <laughs> right comparison to the 526, the 482 is about 5% slower on basically every point of sale in, um, in wind condition and actually in some very specific scenarios it's a little bit faster. All right. Now that is likely just an anomaly. Yeah. But it kind of is encouraging if you're a 482 buyer, I would say. Yes. Well, before we do a boat, I don't want to tell people that the boat's going to be, I'd rather say it's going to be sour. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want people to be disappointed. Yeah. And I knew it would never be sore than 10%. So I said that would be the worst case scenario. But 5%, right. it's, good. it's closer it's good. to what I thought. But yeah. Obviously, you guys are a 482 buyer, but another nice thing is we were thinking, we were saying kind of 15% slower for the 442. No, yeah, that's actually more like 10 percent. So yeah, um, that's so fantastic. Compared to 526. Right. So right. also a little bit faster than what the industry is. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's, it's really it's pretty cool. But the polars are quite detailed, and then detailed. I also had them do a polar where we had a dagger board with a small protective mini keel attached. Right. Also, that if people wanted to add a mini keel to their boat to add protection to their sail drives and their rudders, they could. Mm -hmm. To show them the performance difference. What was the loss? It was 0.2 knots, two, on, two all two knots on all points of sale. Oh, yeah. It's not very much. So yeah. basically nothing. And by yeah. doing that, all the That's arguments good. that people typically have for fields just completely go away sure. because you have the protection for your skanks, your riders, but you gain the benefit of the dagger board and you continue to keep that three and a half foot draft, yes. which is really nice. Yeah. Um, look, you know, there's no perfect. I would say that. It's like, what makes you happy? Cool that we can offer our boats in all three configurations. Another yeah. difference, Anne, is that um, the boat is a foot less beamy right. Right. in the middle. So we take it away from the couch inside, uh, but it enables us structurally to remove this beam here. And this window, instead of opening this way, slides across that way. Right. So it opens up the visibility a bit more um, in this in this space. And yeah. then we structurally support on the 42 with a carbon beam over the top to give it the rigidity for, right. for that application. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's another, you know, slight difference. And then behind you where, where you are right now, this is this is the propane locker. Okay. And the majority of the people that are getting our boats now are doing away with propane on their boats and they're getting all convection ovens and stove tops with the lithium battery systems. So yeah. this goes away comes a larger section of couch. Oh, I like okay. that idea. <laughs> and then this also, just like inside the saloon, this table drops down and this becomes a bed. Okay. Right. Um, back in this vintage boat, we did, every boat had a different type of table, which is really cool. Um, 
But most of our boats now, we have the leg that comes out and then a table that goes up and down. Okay. Which are really nice because they kind of fold out into different shapes. Yeah. Um, but they can't really be used to drop down to convert into a bed. Can you see yep. that? Mm -hmm. This here drops down and then right. the cushion goes in here. Yeah. And this all becomes a bed. So when you and Dennis are on passage, um, you can sleep there or vice versa. Yeah. And somebody can be at the Versa helm and talking. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it down to coffee table height as well and use it as a coffee table. Right. Where you can do the fold outs and put the cushion on and then yeah. get out of bed. So another difference, of course we're out here in 25, 30 knots of wind, so we took the back cushions out and just put our fenders here. Yeah. <laughs> but north, uh, on the 482, this seat comes down over here so that you can also sort of sit here. But also by doing that, we created a big barbecue area yeah. here. Right. So there's a barbecue here. It could either be an electric grill mm -hmm. or people can have a barbecue with just a container of propane. Yeah. Right. Or, or we'll do potentially like a little sink or a or, fish cleaner. Or a cutting station. board yeah. or, or cutting. something like that. Yes. Yeah. Of course, on the 482, all the 526s now, this area here comes all the way out, right? Right. And this is a big lounge in here. Oh, nice. Because remember, this is hole number three, so we didn't do that lounge then. Right. Basically, the lounge, you know, is a big yeah. And underneath here, we store the life raft. <laughs> <laughs> and underneath here, we store the life raft. Right. Okay. Uh, but this is a, a solid module, right? And, and this is all part of it. And then there's right. storage underneath here. This would be a place, Andrew had an idea of making this seat lift up and underneath this having a cooler. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. I you guess. A refrigerated drink cooler that like opens from the top. Yeah. The difference is that the 42 is is uh, about a foot less beam. Right. And we just take it out of the center of the couch right. on the boat, basically. Right. But the couch is still long enough on this boat to be over seven feet, so you can still sleep on it. And also in the 442, it's six feet eight. Yeah, six. On the 442, it's six foot. Eight or six. I, I think it's six. It's long, it's long enough for me to sleep on. I know <laughs> that was a critical thing. Right. That you can right. sleep there. So we pinched a bit more out of the yeah. nav station on yeah. that boat so right. that you retain that feature. And, and that was something I think that we liked was, and Andrew, you had showed this to us at the boat show with the schematic that was over there. Is the living space, of course, you're going to have to make some trade offs yeah. because it's a smaller size boat as you go down. but you. You try to minimize that as much as possible so that way that what you live in is still relatively the same across the three models. You, you try really hard to do that. I mean, in the end, like if I'm forced with a choice of giving up a quarter of a knot right. and giving up livability, I'm always going to give up that quarter of a knot. Sure. You've got to have a livability. It is, you know, in terms of comfort and seating. And All right, on that note, we need to drive. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> every time every time you pack you're actually doing the main now obviously if you want to be lazy you can loosely trim the main and then we don't do anything you could short tack all day and never touch a line so it's yeah cool. but because of the current conditions i'm trying to maximize what little main we have sail on. plan you're asking on the sail plans are really only four feet different so it's a slightly right. smaller sail plan um another difference is that the lower shroud attaches to the chain plate on the outer deck, not on the interior deck. Um, so when you walk through, a six foot one man has to lean a little bit around the lower. It's customer choice if they want to get integrals. It's yeah. customer choice how much solar they want. It's customer choice if they want to go with a conventional generator. Two buyers and all the 442 buyers today have ordered integrals.
you asked what the differences were like in the livability side of it. Up top here, it's almost the same square footage because we moved the aft beam a little further back. Right. So the tender hangs a little bit more off the back. In the halls, the owner's hall feels very much the same. It's just right. a little narrow in the passageway, but not much. On the port side, it's different. Because on the port side of the boat, where you have a forward cabin and an aft cabin, right. the holes aren't wide enough to have two inboard toilets and showers right. and the dagger board. So we stagger it. So the um, toilet vanity room is on the outboard of the hull. Right. Uh -huh. And then forward, there's a walk-in wet shower yeah. on the inboard side. Yeah. Yeah. It also has a sink. Okay, right. So it's got a sink. And, a, and, a, and it's a walk-in shower, yeah. you know, big yeah. walk-in shower. Um, but even that is good because you have a separate head and a separate shower so that when you do have guests, somebody's not just tying up the, whole, the, 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 and the shower and the sinks. toilet. And, and they, they both, both and they both so have brushing right. teeth and stuff, it's, you have your own bathroom. Exactly. Yeah. So we think that's the, the best way to go. Absolutely. You know? It's really nice when you can only have two toilets on a boat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, you start all those holding tanks and plumbing and stuff. Yeah. It's nice to get rid of that. In the bows of the 482 and really the 526 now, almost everybody is having a door open into the bow area. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then one side they're using as a sail locker, kind of, and that'll have a big deck hatch at the back, a really large deck hatch at the back. And then on another one, we're we suggest that people turn it into a workshop storage area with shelving along the sides nice. and line hangers right. and maybe um, a little uh, spice um, oh, and a little, you know, bench. Yeah. We're always needing a vice. Like yeah. storage. Um, just promise me you'll store the tools as far back in the locker as possible because <laughs> um, <laughs> I like to keep the weight off the front of the boat. Yeah. Um, and on the 482, the anchor launches off the launcher on further back, okay? On okay. the 526, it launches off the, the 4B. Yeah. And on the uh, 482 and the 442, we brought the anchor back further on the launcher on, um, to, again, to bring the weight a little bit back. The shorter the boat, the more important it is to keep the weights off the off the bum and the, and the bow. Sure. You know? Right. Um, so, so we did that. Kept the wind, uh, windlass really high in the water, so there's the most amount of chain drops. So you're not constantly fishing it out, you know. There's always going to be some in a gap. So these carbon um, posts, which are composite, on the 482 and the 442, these are going to be in a brushed stainless titanium. Titanium look. Titanium look. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a steel, it's but gonna it's going to look like steel titanium. that's going to look like titanium because we want yeah. it to look cool. And then the stanchions are going to be um, black anodized aluminum. Right. Okay. okay. So they're super light. Nice. But they're black and with the titanium look. Yeah. Um, <laughs> posts and the black stanchions, it'll have a nice kind of racy look. And as you know, the dagger boards come above the deck. Right. Um, Which is something we've talked about in our videos. It's a good visual to have yeah. the dagger boards up. Yeah. Yeah. In the shallow areas. Yeah. So well, it, yeah. It, that's one challenge on the 526 is that you really have to pay attention to whether you're pouring or up or down. It's not as blatantly obvious. When they come above the deck, you have that kind of racy look. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah. What color are you going to paint your boat? Uh, probably uh, the purples didn't look good. I don't know if you know on the Slack channel, I was taking and um, I was like, just give me a hex code and I'll put it in for you so you can see yeah, what it looks awesome. like. Colors color. <laughs> there was a periwinkle, I think. Uh, I know, yeah. some of them are pretty hideous. Uh, uh, that's the part that we really, it's so cool. Like yeah. The boat that just arrived, uh, uh, Ohana, the, the 526, is um, the Tangerine. Or yeah. It was, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. The one that's coming out next is called America's Cup Blue, but then he's got a wrap with yeah. uh, some artwork on it. Yeah. Uh, but he just wrapped the outer hull, whereas Edwin wrapped everything. Edwin wrapped there was a lot of color going yeah, on in Edwin's boat. It was a wrap, was a wrap job. Yeah. It was. Yeah. So anyway, to answer your question, probably a light teal, a light no, blue. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's really pretty. Yeah. The yeah, lavenders. Kind of our trademark that our boats are different colors, and I don't think that was initially intended to be that way. Yeah. It yeah. just worked out that way. Well, I think the footage that you have of uh, Galileo, Alani, and I think 
dragonfly, yeah. just the three different colors. Yeah, that was great. That is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that's, great contrast. Yeah. If he did a yellow bow, what would we name it? Here's an idea of snowflake on a bow, and the boat's name is going to be Yellow Snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> so on the 482, in front of the forward burst on deck, the wet deck goes further forward, and there's a couple of lockers that come up there for storage of lines and some right. things. They're not big lockers, but they're, right. you know. You can leave those up uh, at anchor, and then there's ports built into the uh, wall above the bed. So there's two big advantages of both those systems. First of all, you have that open. Um, it can be pouring rain. It's going into the locker, but it's a draining wet locker. So right. it doesn't matter. Water is not coming into the boat. The other big advantage is that you can leave those things open and leave the boat, there's no access for someone to get in. So you oh. can have air moving through the boat while it's, you know, sitting on anchor oh. all day with no one yeah. aboard. Um, and, and you don't have to worry about thieves coming in or, or rain pouring yeah. uh, the boat. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The windows now on the uh, 482 and part to come down lower yeah. to the deck. Oh, that's great. So when you're sitting down, you can see over. Even more visibility. Yeah. Right now, it's incredible. Yeah, but, but it'll be even more. The visibility won't change up here because they do come down to the wet deck. Right. But now on the sides they come down as well. Yeah. So it, 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 it opens up the visibility. Six foot ten space, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the nice. It is. Yeah. And that's true for all models, right? They're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah. yeah. The, free, the free board, the cabin top height, the bridge deck clearance is on the, is the same on all models. We just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been great having all this interaction with everybody in the commentary. We've gotten some emails. We welcome and encourage you to email us if you have any questions. Yeah. And um, thank you again to the subscribers because we never in our wildest imagination <laughs> thought we would have gotten over a thousand. So thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, because our GTFO plan is when he has to retire his 30 years from the Army. Yep. And that's when we're going to pick up our future boat. Exactly. Well, stay tuned. We'll have more videos. Yes. Oh. Say it again for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always entertaining. That's right. Fine when you say. What do you king? think about that? The king will have a king bed. No, 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 no. Sound check. Sound check. Sound check. Sailing in the time of COVID. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sail!